Hi, this is the Now You Know Hands Only CPR. Hello, my name is Ambrose. I'm the Deputy Head of the Singapore Red Cross Academy. Hi, uh, my name is Michelle. I'm the First Aid and Life Support Consultant of Singapore Red Cross Academy. When the heart stops beating, blood stops flowing through the body. So unless the flow is restarted quickly, other organs in the body will stop functioning. So CPR is a series of actions required to restart the heart and get the blood flowing once again as soon as possible. Hands only CPR, which involves only chest compressions, squeezes the heart between the breastbone and the spine and thereby helps to circulate the oxygenated blood to the vital organs such as the brain, the heart and the kidneys. Hands only CPR is easy to learn and is not less effective than a standard CPR, which consists of mouth to mouth ventilations. A person who suffers a cardiac arrest can experience near death within minutes and with the chances of survival dropping by 10%. For every minute without CPR, your prompt intervention is crucial to a cardiac arrest casualty survivor. Yes, you can. If you are willing and able to assist in an emergency, do step forward to provide hands-only CPR to improve the casualty recovery or chances of survival. You can follow these personal safety steps when rendering aid to others. Wear a mask when you are rendering aid in an emergency. If you have immediate access to gloves, you should wear them before attempting CPR. You should wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or use hand sanitizers to clean your hands as soon as possible after the casualty has been handed over to the SCTF. Just remember, D, R, S, A, B, C. D, check for danger. Quickly assess the situation for danger. Make sure you are in a safe environment. R, check for responsiveness. Tap or shake the casualty on the shoulder firmly and ask loudly, Hello, hello, are you okay? S, shout for help and call SCTF 995. Shout for help and get someone near you to call 995 for an emergency ambulance. A. Get an AED. Ask someone near you to get an automated external defibrillator. B. Check for normal breathing. Look for the rise and fall of the chest for not more than 10 seconds. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000. Do take note. It's important to recognize that gasping is not normal breathing, but a sign of cardiac arrest. Gasping can also happen in severe asthmatic attacks. Start chest compression immediately if unsure whether the casualty has no breathing or gasping. C. Provide continuous chest compression. Place the heel of your hands on the center of the casualty chest. Interlace the fingers of both hands and lift the fingers off the chest wall. Straighten both elbows and lock them in position. Position your shoulder directly above the casualty chest. Use your body weight to compress the casualty chest vertically to a depth of 4 to 6 cm. Counting as you compress and go. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 10 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 15 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 20 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 25 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 30 Rock techniques of CPR in Singapore includes being a bender. Elbows are not straightened or locked in position. A bouncer, both hands lifted off the chest wall after each compression. A double crosser, right hand palm above the back of the left hand. A massager, hands on the chest but wrist performing wave with little depth. A rocker, the body positions, shoulders being swing forth and back instead of directly over the chest. 
a Yongchun master, making two fists using the knuckle side pumping the heart, a healer using one leg to palm or kick the chest. So, so now, now you, you know! know.